Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Glenn. Thanks for being here with us today. Glenn, um, can you tell me what are you doing here at Rio Plus 20? Sure. Um, WWF has many functions here, and the one I'm most dis interested in is attending the different side events to show how we work with our partners for sustainable development. This morning, I had a, a side event with uh, Acre State in Brazil and Sabah State in Malaysia to show how they are developing green economies, which are based on uh, forests, keeping the forest standing, and how the rule of law and environmental governance is the most important step so that you know where the forest will be tomorrow. It won't change suddenly, and that means it should encourage private sector investors to support sustainable development and a green economy. We need green jobs. So WWF is there showing how we have supported Sabah State in Malaysia, Acre State in Brazil, to develop green economy based on forests, not cutting it down. That's the first part. Uh, the second part is working with the colleagues uh, in East Africa. So we are working in coastal East Africa, particularly in the marine environment. And we want to work hard to say, how can we have fisheries, tuna fisheries, which are well managed, sustainably managed for the future? And how do we work with the governments and the Indian Ocean Tuna Commission to have quotas and a fair, sustainable supply of protein? Everyone needs the fish, but we don't want to destroy the stocks. About the first part, um, can you give me examples of what would be green jobs? Green jobs would be uh, some of uh, Chico Menes's family who I met when I visited, where they are identifying trees in a forest area, cutting them. And they told me when I spoke to them, they leave the grandmother, they leave the mother, and they only cut a daughter. So that you have a continuous system of uh, new seedlings, new trees to cut in the future. Uh, so those jobs, cutting the trees in a sustainable way, that's a green job. If you cut it all and burn it, that is not a green job. That's destroying the um, resource that can keep you going into the future. And econ economically speaking, is it um, possible to develop like that economically speaking? I think you have to have the balance, and this is where the, having the land use plan is critical. Some areas will have to be cleared for infrastructure, cities, towns, roads. Some areas will be for agriculture, and some areas will be for forest and forest economy, and some areas will be for protection, for indigenous people, for culture. So you have to have the trade-offs, and then set the land there, and don't allow political changes to suddenly undo what were the agreed trade-offs. So then you have a balanced economy. Uh, you can't just take short term what's my maximum profit and then find, oh, the soil's no good. We destroyed what was okay on the soil and now look, the soil's terrible for other products. So that's, that's it is possible and Acre State have shown increasing GDP with decreasing deforestation. That's good evidence. So how is it possible to convince these to companies and people? So uh, you have to show what is effective. You have to show what is good. And then the political leaders have to say, OK, that is what good looks like. We will lead you there. And that's one of our problems now here in Rio. We don't have enough political leadership, even though we have some examples of what good looks like. And what are the expectations so far? From me, uh, we want to get the messages out that people are doing great things. Uh, in coastal East Africa, we have fantastic co-fisheries uh, management, villages reducing the damage by dynamite uh, fishing. Uh, their income has increased, the fish stocks have increased, community work has improved. Um, so those are examples of what good is like now, not depending on international negotiations, but we want those uh, stories to inform the international negotiations. That's what I'm hoping we get from our side events.
And how is those ideas that you just told me being received by public and government here at Rio Plus 20? Uh, for those people who are attending the side events, they're the people I'm seeing. They are interested and enthusiastic. Um, we now depend on them, our political leaders within them, to carry those messages into the negotiations. I'm not there.